Hi, my name is Melanie, owner and trainer at Full Fit Revolution. And today I'm going to show you some conditioning moves to help you get stronger on the pole. We're going to start off behind the pole with the pole um, hands up high in like a baseball grip, feet apart, and you're going to lift up on your tiptoes in a releve. You're going to squat down and give me a knee lift. And squat down, knee lift. Altering that knee lift and pulling those arms pull to pull your body up. So you're not only working your legs, but you're gonna work the strength in the upper body, rhomboids, and lats. Finally, our next, you're gonna come into the pole for a pull up, reaching the arms about eye level or forehead height, and you're gonna squeeze the pole, bringing your elbows forward, um, bringing the body up against the pole, lift your legs, grab the pole, slide down, land on the toes, and then lean your bottom back and pull yourself into the pole. Again, body against the pole, lift, slide, and rock it back. We're going to go left side, hand high, lift, slide, and back. And again, lift, slide, and back. You're going to come into the pole again. Hands, forehead height, lift to the tiptoes. We're going to do a star lift. Um, anchor your shoulders down and lift up. Engaging the lats and round points down the back. Lift up. And again, you can lift up, bring your legs forward and down. And again, lift up, forward and down. You can go ahead and repeat that on the other side. Now we're going to come around to one side of the pole, bring your arm around the pole into a bicep hole. Hand is about uh, cheek height. Outside hand overhead, bringing your hips in front of the pole. We're going to do a tuck, squat to the floor. Lift the knees up, tuck, squat, bring it up. Again, body is nice and tight to the pole. Abs in, tuck the knees, down, and bring it up. Do about 10 of those on each side. Then we're going to work on stability. We're going to hold that tuck, try to bring it down to the floor softly. So lift, tuck, slide it down, and then you're going to bring it up, and go ahead and do that again. Now if you can't, keep your legs up in the air by engaging those abs. So you also have the option of bringing that tuck slide, bring the body up, tuck the abs in, and if you can't keep your legs up the whole time, just bring them down to the floor and slide the rest of the body slowly to the ground, and then go ahead and bring it up. Step up and repeat again. So try that five to ten times on each side. Then we're going to move into working into a pike lift. So more of a, um, a more ab work. Squeezing your body tightly into the pole and lift up and down. And exhale when you lift up. Again, lift and down. And do that ten times on each side. So we're going to take that pole slide to the ground. And then move in to facing the pole, working the abs again into a straddle leg lift. You're going to push the hands into the pole, lift up nice and tall, and lift the legs up off the ground. Notice my pelvis is tucking under to engage my abs. Exhale. And a common thing that people will do is they'll collapse or they'll fall back really far. You want to try to keep your chest lifted and just make that C-curve with the pelvis. And work on 10 to 20 reps on that. And then you're going to go ahead and move your body in front of the pole. Placing your low back up against the pole and your, um, in, your top arm grabbing up the pole. You're going to push your left hand or your bottom hand into the floor and lift up. So the back of my body is braced up against the pole. I can also modify by placing that bottom knee on the ground, but you're going to option, bring it down hip, grab the pole, push and pull up. So I'm pushing into the ground and I'm pulling my other hand up the pole. Again, down, squeeze and push up, and down. And then you can go ahead and add a side passe. So you're going to lift and down, let it down slow. Again, lift, down, and slow, and then again, lift, down, and slow. And you're going to do that on the other side ten times, bring it down to the floor, 
We're going to lift all the way up to the top of a push-up plank. Abs in. Walk your hands right underneath your shoulders. You're going to bend the elbows back towards your ribs. And lower and hold. And again, lower and hold. Squeezing those ribs with your arms. Lower and hold. Try to stay there as much as you can. And bring it all the way back. And there you have it. We have our pull conditioning moves. It's just a handful of them that you can do to strengthen your body on the pull. Please go and visit us at uh, pullforrevolution.com or come to class. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.